have this. This has been sitting in my attic for a long, long, long time. I've had this, I don't even know how long. We're gonna attach this up to here. We're gonna add some, we're gonna add some would you bend to it. I'm gonna put some would you bend around here and then down here I'm gonna add a strip of would you bend. Sure. And I think I'm gonna use slick stick on this. I don't wanna paint this yet. I wanna put my would you bend on first, y'all. So I am using slick stick on here just because this thing is super dirty and dusty. Um, toppers. All right, so this is the slick stick. I am gonna put a coat of slick stick also on the topper too while we're at it. Goodwill, y'all. Got it, the Goodwill, I can't beat it. You know what, I'm gonna use a different brush though. These flat brushes, if you're trying to paint these work fabulously. Okay, so let's let that dry for uno momento. And then we can put the slick stick away and I will start and then I'm gonna paint it with some white paint. So this is just, this is Cottage White Chalk Paint by Folk Art. Yeah, this is going to be really pretty. And then by the time we dark wax it, it's going to really tone down that white, make it look more antique -y. But I'm going to paint those black stripes on there first. And then I got to figure out what I want to do on these thicker sides over here. All right, I'm gonna put this off to the side to dry, just for a tad, and then we're gonna do the topper. Hi, Laura. All right, so I'm just gonna go right in here, and you can see, and I'm just gonna do a line, and I'm gonna show you guys. I don't know what the rest of the bottle is gonna look like, but I do know that I want And I'm just following the stripes that are already here. That's why I thought it'd be great to just use them. Just, I'm just mimicking what's already on the bottle. This is going to be kind of funkalicious. So see, you're basically just waxing the white part. And see how that wax just kind of sticks? Um, and that's so pretty. So look at the difference. That's the difference. See how white that is and see how like muted and toned down this is? That's what I like about the wax. Okay, so there, that's all done. Doesn't that look so pretty? Oh, isn't this gonna be so pretty? Okay, so I feel like maybe we can make these black too. What do you guys think? To match the stripes, should we paint this little roundabout thing black here? 
All right. So see how we're just gonna glue this right under here, I think, and grab a cork because I think that would be perfect to go on there. All right. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe put some glue up here. Great idea. I would have never thought to put a cork in here. It's a little, let's see, it's a little. Here, I'm just throwing this out there. What do you guys think about that? Right up here in the middle. All right, so we're just gonna outline, take this skinny little brush. Because look at, if you look at here, do you see? Oh, thank you, Pat. I don't think it needs gold, oops. All right, so we're gonna use this as the new product, this Aqua Patina Jet Black from Posh Chalk. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, patina and I'm gonna kind of like offload a little bit. I'm gonna take this um, black and I think I'm just gonna, you know how I do my dry brushing, you just barely flick it on. This is supposed to be black. Let's see what this looks like. This is the oil-based patina. So that's got to sit for a little bit and then you can go back over let that set and then you can keep throwing your colors on there wherever you think you might need them see how grungy and goopy kind of like it you can do paint all over here Just now I can I want to put that gem. Okay. I'm going to put this bad boy. I'm just going to use glue for now, and then when I can lay this down and the top is on okay, I will um, I will secure this with a uh, triple thick. Enough. I don't know where it's actually going to stick on here but if it'll get me to where I can at least get it on and let you guys see it. Nope. Probably because that's wax. I'm probably gonna have to seal. I'm probably gonna have to seal. If I know this, I'm probably gonna have to seal the topper with triple thick Duraclear because this is so waxy, the glue won't stick. All right, here, guys. I'm just going to turn around. But that's what's going right there. And see, this is still, like, wobbly. So this all has to dry. I have to probably seal this with triple thick Duraclear Dura while this wax dries. But there, it's kind of staying. But it's not going to last because of that wax. Ooh, isn't that so beautiful? Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials.